19 deaths. Nine of them are children, are babies that we lost. And we're all feeling this. And we're going to be here for this community to help them navigate through this. Many of these young children went to schools. We will have a social and emotional support at their schools to ha help the classmates. Uh, we're here as well with the Red Cross and OEM uh, is going to coordinate together to get housing and also some of the emergency needs uh, that the people who experience this trauma experience. And it's so important that we have the faith-based leaders here. Uh, this was a large uh, Muslim population. Uh, Sheikh Musa is here uh, that knows many of the residents. They came from Gambia. And we want to make sure that we're sensitive to the cultural needs. Uh, the ME's office is going to coordinate to make sure that we respect the burial rights of the Muslim community as well as others. So our message is clear today. During the tragedy, we are going to be here for each other. There's more to be discovered. The FDNY is doing a thorough investigation. Commissioner Nigro will update us on the latest, but it, is a, it appears as though this stemmed from a space heater. But the marshals are here. They will give us a thorough investigation to, turn out, to determine exactly what took place and what we can do better not to have this repeated. And so at this time, I want to just thank the governor of the state of New York, who's here with, her, with us today. Shocked. It's impossible to go into that room where scores of families were in such grief, were in pain. To see it in a mother's eyes as I held her, who lost her entire family. It's hard to fathom what they're going through. And I went table to table to help children make the ramen noodles and eat their pizza. And let them know one thing, and the mayor and I are united in this, we will not forget you, we will not abandon you, we are here for you. So your elected leaders from your Senator Schumer, but on down to our council members, are united here to support this community, to say tonight, tonight of tragedy, and pain, and tomorrow, we begin to rebuild the world of the Bronx, the front of our family. And when I prepare my budget this week, I'm going to establish a victim's compensation fund for the individuals I just sat with and said I will not forget you. Yes. There will be money to help them find new housing for burial costs or whatever they need. We'll take care of them because that's what we do here in the state of New York. We are here for the Bronx and we're here for anyone who needs us. And I thank the leadership of our mayor. Our fire commissioner, Nigro, and all the men and women in uniform who went into a building suffering, and the souls of those who lost the children. And, uh, I'm so happy when I reached out to this instance, immigration assistance, so families can be united, because many of these families have come from overseas and need to be here. And I just pledge, and I saw a colleague of Congress, our Congressman, Richie Torres, we pledge to do whatever we can at the federal level. But New Yorkers are united in standing by when there's a tragedy, we come together. We don't care about ideology, we don't care about race, creed, color, religion. We come together, we embrace one another, and we say we are for helping New Yorkers who need help. That's who we've been for the history of our city, and on this awful night that doesn't change. Uh, my entire department mourns along with the families here today, uh, and our entire city. We're all about saving lives, the loss of one life is sad for us, much less 19 lives. As the mayor said, this fire began uh, in a department that spans two floors on the second and third floor of the building. Uh, it started in a malfunctioning electric space heater. Uh, that was the cause of the fire. The fire consumed that apartment that is on two floors and part of the hallway. The door to that apartment, unfortunately, when the residents left, was left open and did not close by itself. The smoke spread throughout the building, uh, thus the loss of life and other people fighting for their lives. 
right now in hospitals all over the Bronx. So we are investigating uh, where everyone was found, how the smoke traveled, but certainly uh, the marshals have determined through physical evidence and through uh, first-hand accounts by the residents that this fire started in a bedroom in a portable electric heater. Uh, it certainly is traumatizing when we can't save a life. And our members, you know, tried diligently to fire and EMS members to bring some of these people back and, uh, and to bring them out as quickly as they could. So we will have our counseling service be very busy after this with our members who are saddened by this terrible loss. Hey. I was living every uh with you so we can live two um sports violations but they can not be good. Okay. So the plan is to have it in the side of the 